Nicola Sturgeon's pursuit of second independence referendum may well secure British fishing rights from the EU, an expert has claimed. Ms Sturgeon has announced her desire to bring forward legislation to hold a second vote on Scotland's independence next year. In order to counter Ms. Sturgeon's independence's desires, Professor Alex de Reuter from Birmingham University's Center for Brexit Studies claimed Boris Johnson could stand firm on fisheries in order to stymie a future referendum. Although comparatively, UK fisheries make up a small percentage of the economy, a large portion of those jobs are in Scotland. Professor de Reuter said the Prime Minister will be even more desperate to take back control of the UK's waters to give some solid benefits to Scots. Speaking to Express.co.uk, he said, fishing accounts for 0.04% of GDP and marine fishing is a few thousand jobs, so most people will not be directly impacted. The challenge for Mr Johnson is political, fishing is seen as politically fraught for both sides. There is a second challenge insofar as a huge proportion of jobs and territorial waters are Scottish. Given widespread Scottish skepticism about Brexit and a feeling that it is predominantly an English nationalist political project, Mr Johnson is likely to be desperate to demonstrate some concrete benefit to Scots in order to attempt to stymie the independence movement. On Tuesday, Ms Sturgeon vowed she will push the case for Scotland's independence at next year's Scottish Parliament election. Ms Sturgeon vowed to remain focused on the coronavirus. The First Minister also insisted Brexit has strengthened the case for Scotland to be independent. Although she will press the issue, any referendum would need to be approved by the UK government who has previously stated the initial vote was a once-in-a-generation opportunity. While the issue of Scottish independence has once again been raised, the state of fisheries has still not been resolved during Brexit talks. Such is the intransigence on the matter. The EU's chief negotiator Michel Barnier insisted talks will not progress until it is involved. With talks failing to progress, Mr Barnier met with his counterpart, David Frost for emergency talks in London this week. He also claimed the UK position has not evolved since the start of Brexit negotiations and therefore risked the outcome of no deal being agreed. 